Hello everyone, welcome to the Cup of Joe show. So today we're going to drogress another one of our mons up into their final form, and then as we saw yesterday, Garu we got Garudamon because I thought Lukamon was a data champion, but they're not. Yesterday we got a lot of chestnuts. Oh, oh, oh. I gotta show you. I gotta show you the chestnuts. Okay, look. Look at how many we got yesterday. This is just from yesterday. Look, do you see how deep this basket? It's it's a it's too many. It's actually uh, it's too many chestnuts, honestly. But it's pretty much all I wanted. I think after like maybe one or two more harvests, I'll have exactly the amount I need to last me for November, December. So I'm happy. It worked out, and I didn't even have to make a hook stick. All right. So check out. Our guys are the same as yesterday, but don't worry, don't worry. Do not fear boredom because we must jogress Hangyomon. Where's my data? Where is it? Yeah, we need to jogress our Hangyomon with a data ultimate. And uh, I'm not gonna take any chances this time, guys. I'm gonna actually like look up if the Digimon that I think is a uh, data, I'm gonna see if they're actually a data. I hate it how every time you put the batteries back in these things, you, you run a small chance of just ruining your save. Okay, come on. Please don't lose me all that, that sweet Digimon data. I swear, if I load this up and it's in debug mode, I'm gonna scream. Oh, thank goodness. So, Seedramon, I, w I know for a fact is data. Isn't Mega Seedramon the final form? See, this is the... Th uh, this is why I gotta look this stuff up. No, Metal Seedramon is the Mega. Mega Seedramon, ironically, is ultimate form and their date. Okay, that's the boy. That's the one. We gotta send that one over. Copy, get, mashy, smashy. Without further ado, it's time to jogress between Hangyomon and Mega Seedramon. And we're gonna get, this time things are gonna work out. We're gonna get precisely what I wanted when I want it, which is now. So what happens, huh? What happens when you squeeze a screaming fish man and a screaming snake together? Clearly, as logic would dictate, you get a horse. Is that a horse? <laughs> Just kidding. It's Plesiomon. Pure Shio Mon. Okay. Plesiomon. They've got. Oh, that's good. They're in their final form. Uh, there's no more that they can Jogress or evolve into. They're just a super powered mega ultimate data type. And they, they can fight. I really want to see them fight. Although, I guess it's, it would just be better to see their, the way their like, attack projectiles are. So let's see. If it's data, it's got to be. Right? It's got to be like 13. Okay, so we got to see nothing but their mega hits there. I got to slow down a bit because it's kind of it's cool that they're like shouting Or you know sending out like interference waves kind of I like it kind of goes along with this whole My vision of them being the Loch Ness monster. Okay. What if I only shake like six times? Can I see the weak one? Oh So there's loud shout and then there's not that loud shout Okay, I mean if you look at their their physical Ness, you know what it, this reminds me of? It, this just kind of looks like if Bandai had pity on me, made me their digital pet boy, and then made Gerald into a Digimon. That just kind of looks like Gerald. Gerald, is that you? Oh, for Garudamon, they can't Digivolve, or they can, but they can't Jogress Digivolve, which was the point of this whole hatch. I mean, they did technically Jogress during the course of their, their life, so I guess I'm going to consider this hatch a success. But at the same time, I have to wait for them to evolve, but I also have to give them 15 battles. Was that bad? Of course that was bad, because your vaccine. Such a good bird. I love it when you scream pterodactyls. That's like my favorite thing. God, Garudamon, that's pretty dang cool, actually. Do that, okay? Find someone who can scream pterodactyls at you. Okay, so if we're just gonna do single, then we could do, well, I guess I'll do this, I could do this later. We'll do one, though, eh? One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, I guess it's just six. Hopefully that was good. Okay, yeah, scream pterodactyls at the tadpole. That's exactly what Digimon is. Digimon, digital monsters, scream pterodactyls at a tadpole. Kind of sounds like English, but no, it's actually a fact. It's it's a it's a canonical thing that can happen, which is amazing. Finish them. Ah! Oh. If I had a screaming pterodactyl flying at me, I kind of would accept my fate and I, like for real. But then if I saw two screaming pterodactyls flying at me, I just. Oh. I think I'd just, I'd cycle. My fear would cycle and then I'd go back to fight or flight and I would try to run away. I don't know. Like, that's a thing. That's why, uh, like in horror and scaring someone and intimidating someone, there is such a, oh look, this old eraser snake, gross. There is such a thing as overdoing it to the point where you end up being less scary or less intimidating. You know, like if you do like a whole, if you like try to intimidate someone, you like, if you, you walk over to them, you stomp too hard. You know, that's like throwing your weight around. It, it's, it's too obvious. You know, it's too obvious. You gotta just throw one. Just scream one pterodactyl at your enemies, okay? Let's see, Hangyomon, Half-Fishmon, ah! 
Nasty! You know, in retrospect, I should have made this pond bigger, huh? Because I feel like Hangyomon's gonna want to be in the pond. CD Banana says, maybe have him trying to dive in the pond. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah, that could be good. But yeah, we'd have to kind of draw him up here and have him doing like that. The little like double hand thing like he's about to dive in. I guess we just need to put the, the thumbs there. And that kind of, okay, I guess that's kind of what was missing was the thumbs. I was going to look up a reference there for a, for a hot second. But then I thought better. Come on, 005, don't quit on me. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, erase lines, shall we? Dude, Pizza Friday. What? What is Pizza Friday? Is it what it sounds like? Is it exactly what it is? Is it just pizza on Fridays? I'm jealous because Moose up at her work, her, uh, one of her bosses is bringing them all pizza. Which, I mean, it on in, on paper is nice, but you have to also remember that this year that they've uh, completely done away with any kind of monetary bonus that they usually get. And so instead they're like, hey guys, who wants the reward that usually kids get for doing their homework all week? And so, you know, Moose is keeping a good attitude about it. But meanwhile, I have to play the part of the, uh, the stay-at-home spouse that goes like, What are they doing? Why aren't they paying you more? Pizza will not pay the rent. It will not warm our stoves in the winter. But, you know, having said that, I hope she brings home a pizza pizza for me. Also, uh, Pizza Hut won't deliver to our apartment anymore. They just won't. I don't know what psychopath did what, but someone scared someone at Pizza Hut so bad that they actually put our entire apartment on the blacklist. Like, we are just not- they won't even- they'll be like, there are none around you, and I'm like, lies! Oh, holy crap. Okay, hold on. That's it. I'm coming over. May May. Everyone, say hello to May May. You okay? I think this is just what she wants. She just wants this constantly. You only like me because I'm a space heater. Burf? What do you mean, burf? All right. See? She jumps up, acting like it's the first uh, the first attention she's gotten in a year, and then after 30 seconds, she's like, No, that's fine, thanks, alright, bye. Every- And there she goes. There we go, everyone get a, a, a saucy look. There's Hongyomon dive about to dive up into that pond, okay? Hongyomon drawn, and uh, Plesiomon. Luckily, they look pretty simple. I bet you the actual regular Digimon stock art, though, is like a whole other ballpark. You know, a whole other story. Garudamon, on the other hand, yeah, and like like here, they're here they're naked. Uh, in the anime, they have pants, so that's gonna be fun. I suppose that's it. I just gotta get their 15 battles done, and then they're going to evolve, and then this hatch is a complete success. Not not exactly, you know, what I was wanting them to be. I wanted to end with Griffamon on the Wind Guardians, but, you know, I thought that dolphins were data, and I guess I need to learn the harsh lesson that dolphins are an absolute source of good, I guess. I don't know, like, dolphins have never done a bad thing in their lives, is what I guess the implication is, so... I don't know. Alright, let's play some Zelda. I'm gonna change the category. It now is Zelda. I did it. Let's play Zelda now. Bam!